Good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It's just me. <laughs> Boris is up with, uh, I'm sorry, it's eight, It's 6.30. Um, I got up about 10 after 6. I had a hard time getting up. I did make a coffee right there. I emptied the dishwasher. I made like a pot of coffee. I made Maze's lunch. And started to load up the dishwasher, but it's not full. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I have to drive Mally in. She's taking a food handler's course today, which is from 9 until 4. So she won't be going to school, but she'll be going to a, a course. It's not for school. This is something we had to pay for. It's $45 to do. But it's good. If you were ever work in a restaurant and stuff, I think you're supposed to have this. Wemis is a good thing to have, which they just had Wemis, but she didn't do that. Like, it was too late. But we'll keep our eye out for that one. That's a snooze fest course. I remember doing that. But it's it's about safety. It's good. It's about chemicals and stuff. I don't know if they have that in the States or other countries. But Wemis, do you know? Do you know what that is? Um... Oh, gosh. I want to go have a shower immediately, but I'll have one after I get back from town today. I'll probably take the truck because Boris will want to come for the drive, and I do want to stop and get another big bag of food. Like, I have enough for... I have, like, one of my big buckets half full, so I'm okay. It's not like I need it immediately, but... I could just go get... I could just go get a bag, you know? Um... Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to try to shotgun this, uh, or shoot this coffee and then go up and get Maze ready for school. And he has hockey tonight too. I got to remember that early in the day, not later in the day, but at least it's just in this town. It's not like I have to drive super far. All right, we're outside. I hear Richard or Julia, the Cardinal. Listen, that's them. And Randall was just here. Maze is eating some of that yogurt. It's actually darker, like, not on camera. On camera, it looks quite light. Anyways, I think Anne. Morning, Anne. Morning, tugboat. Oh, well, here's the bus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we won't distract you, sorry. Know all the yeah. You go with your mommy. <clears throat> Here, I'll take your spoon. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day at school. Love ya. You got yogurt on your lips. Lick your lips. Woo. There was a work truck down there earlier. Oh, they're probably stopping at the work truck. Yeah. They're setting up. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing, Randall. I'm gonna go get Boris. I don't know if we'll walk up there. I don't know. Oh. It's a beautiful fall day. It's seven, seven degrees according to Google right now. All right. Let's go get uh, the girls up. Pumpkin? There's my pumpkin. Food handlers, we're leaving at 8.30. Where are you going? Okay, I'm out here with Boris. Those guys are still there, so I'll just walk to the end of the road this way and back. No, we're going to go this way and around the yard, and we'll go for a longer walk tomorrow, or later. <laughs> 
I just, yeah, I don't want to fuss and muss. Come on. He already had a giant pee just to see if he has to have a poop. <sighs> I'd like to go over in that graveyard across the road sometime soon. It's always very nice over there. What are you smelling? Oh, maybe you're smelling tugboat. Just get the smells. I'd appreciate it if you, you know, had a pinch. Have a pinch like a big boy. <sighs> I know this isn't very far. beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Uh, all the colors. Pretty soon all these leaves will be gone. Onto the ground anyways. Here, let's cross here. I don't want to risk a car coming around that corner sharp. And we'll just walk around our yard. Until he has us a pinch, maybe. Speed finds double in work areas. Yeah, yeah. Very appropriate. Oh gosh, I just came out with my bucket. I see Tank walking around on the road. For goodness sakes. Alright, you guys, calm down. I'm going to put your food down. He's probably gone up to check those people, but I'm not staying outside with him once I'm done uh, feeding my friends. All right, Boris is eating his breakfast. The furnace really isn't turned up. It's up to like 15. I'll just turn it down more because we don't need that going right now. I mean, it's cool in the house, but it's not. <sighs> it's not that extreme. Come over here. I don't know if Tank went home, but I fear the worst for that fella and his future, and I feel helpless. He's an adorable dog, but I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, anyways, I woke all the kids up. I said, I'm leaving at 8.30. Whoever's ready and wants to come with me, come with me. Otherwise, you got to catch the bus. So we'll see. i got to go in with Mally to pay for it. But I'd like to go in at 8.30. Her thing doesn't start till 9, so I can stop and get that bag of dog food. If by chance I don't have enough time and things go sideways, I am going in again for hockey tonight, so I can do it then. i just like to, uh, you know, get it all taken care of. All right, I just dropped... Uh, Misha and Mazai off at school. I have Mally here beside me. We're at Tim Hortons. I'm getting her a breakfast sandwich thing. And then I'm dropping her off to her course. And uh, it's our turn. I want to get a receipt. We might be able to claim it on income tax. Every little bit helps. Okay. Well, you Oh, my cheeks are red. Okay, I just dropped her off. Um, there's quite a lot of people, and they're all, like, adults, like, not teenagers. I said, Mally, you might be going in there, and you're the only teenager, but don't worry about it, because they're all there for the same thing. It's just a course. they got to take it because they work at a restaurant or a hospital or whatever. They're working with food. So, <laughs> I think she's the only teenager. All the rest of them are hard-working people. Morning. And, uh, yeah, anyways, I parked with a high heck up here. I had the car. My husband was up, so I left Boris there, so I didn't have to put gas in the truck and stuff, but I might stop to the Big W to get some dog food and then get the high heck home. But when I dropped Mally off, I said, is there Wi-Fi here that, just in case she 
needs to get a hold of me and stuff. So we got that sorted. All right, I'm going to the big dub. Ooh, all right, guys, I got home. I'll show you what I got after. My husband's in the kitchen working on his deboning chicken breast. But I just had a shower, so I'm all, ooh, my skin was crawling earlier. So, Boris is here, my little pumpkin. And I'm just gonna sit down and let my body simmer a bit. Okay guys, I did that little bit of laundry. I will probably have a load to do later, but I'm not doing that right now. My husband husband deboned some chicken breast. I don't know how many. But I'm boiling the bones to make broth. I put a pack of onion soup mix in it and I'm gonna make rice with the broth after. And I'm gonna cook up the chicken breast and put chicken and rib sauce on it. And that's what supper's gonna be. So my husband's just in the kitchen now. Wait till he's done in there. And then I'll go out and do up some supper. Some jazz lounge music is playing. It's just this scenery. Yeah. Alright, God. Here's the, the guys. Here's um, the chicken. This is a bunch of chicken breast bones. I have it turned down on low now. I'll strain it after. There's some oil in this pan. I'm going to fry it all up. All of it. Okay, you can see a little bit. It's 11.53. So. Yeah, I have some, like, just containers of chicken and rib sauce I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that I should take out those bones and put them on something and I did put a package of onion soup mix in here I don't know how much water is in here, so I'll have to measure it so I can make the rice appropriately. But there's uh, probably enough. I might have to add a little water. I don't know. My husband cut up an onion and put it in this broth, too. I thought he was putting it in the pan for the chicken, but it's all right. Two, two, two cup ones. I know I have a big one, but I can't find it. I'm not going to spend my time. How can I do this? I would make, I need six cups of broth. God, this is terrible. This is a terrible idea. I'm still going to do it. Right. Okay. 
for two cups. Son of a That's two cups, so that's four cups. Gash. Do I have another? Well, I have this one, but it's plastic. But I can do it quick. Making a mess. That's just about uh, six cups. I just need to add a tiny smidge of water. So that's good. I'm just going to dump the rest of these, are just, just remnants into that strainer. And so I need to, usually I have my rice in here first, rinse my rice and stuff, so there's two, there's four. There's almost six, I'll just add a little water. rice, or this chicken. Yeah, I have the Diana's chicken and rib sauce. So, that'll be good. Throw some pepper, onion, garlic. I don't know, I might add a little salt, not a whole bunch, because the rice will have that onion soup mix in it. But it is plain chicken breast, you know, onion. Garlic, I'm gonna put some of these dehydrated chopped onions. I do have fresh onions, but I wanna use some of these up. I can soak up some of that chicken juice. Very like. It's 12 o'clock right on the nose right now. I'm hungry. Um, and this smells really good. I'm going to get my rice prepared so I can throw that in the broth. I got a new bag. So. There's the.
I broke the seal. Of course I did. But I do have a big Ziploc bag. I can put this in. That's what I had to do the last time. I think my husband might have got this from Costco. I can't remember. But that's six cups of broth, so two cups of rice. Two cups of rice, three cups of water, bring it to a boil, throw a blob of butter in it, any spices you want, put a lid on it, take it off the heat for 20 minutes, and it's done. For Batsmati rice. Wow, this is smelling good, so I'm going to get that, just a minute. Alright, I got it in there. I just turned the heat up on high, and... Yeah, we'll be good. I'm gonna I saved that big Ziploc bag because I just used the last of the other bag the other day. Well, actually, not all of it. There's still a little bit there, but I'm gonna try to pour it in this. Think I can do it. Should I put it in something to hold this? I don't know. chew on those uh, rib bones after because there's a little chicken left to it just like the stuff that you can't really cut off that'll be my lunch so this is coming up I want it like 95% done and then I'll put the sauce in it and let it bubble in the sauce for a while this is a lot of chicken but that's good and I know we could make curry with this, but I don't feel like it. I just want something to cook and dump and stir, and rice is nothing to make. Rice is even easier than, like, potatoes or french fries. It's like, I just thought to use up those chicken bones so they don't go to waste, I can make a broth out of them. Anyway, so I'll bring you back in a bit. I need some of that chicken bones in my mouth. All right, this is pretty well 90% cooked. I'm going to do you know, chicken and rib. I have, this one is a little less than half and another full one. All right. Once I get it all in, I will put it on low and let it simmer for probably 15 20 minutes. I'm going to take this thing off. I want it to be saucy so it goes down into the rice because this is good sauce.
just have them upside down. I'll let it come up to a good boil and bubble and I will uh, turn the heat down. I could have strained some of this chicken juice out, but I'm not going to. Like, I didn't bother. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's good. It's not going to... I'll just stay close. Like, I don't want it to scorch or anything. It shouldn't, but... It's still up on high. And I'll just let it go for a bit. All right, that chicken is done. I have a shut off. This is uh, dog food. It's about half full. This is like one of those five gallon buckets. It was actually one of my old beer buckets. I used to make beer and wine all the time, like homemade beer and wine. And you'd ferment it in a big bucket like this and have one of those air bubble things. Anyways, I just have it plugged up with some tape. Um, I'm gonna put, I didn't get a giant bag because I still have half a bucket of this. And here, chicken rice formula. He's had it before. Just to switch it up. And I have another bucket in the laundry room that's empty. But this doesn't all fit. I'll just leave it in the bag and like tonight once there's supper I'll just use this stuff over the bag. I'm gonna get my scoop. over there. <sighs> I am strong. I am powerful. Alright, that's good. And then I got dental sticks. They were on sale for 11 something. And then I got some canned. I do have some pedigree stuff quite a bit, but this was on sale for for six dollars. T-bone steak, chicken and rice, lamb and rice, chicken and rice, T-bone steak, lamb and rice, T-bone, bacon cheeseburger. I just grabbed an assortment. So I do, I'm going to put this on the shelf, but I do have a container. This still has some stuff in it. I'll give you one of the dentist sticks. Give me a second. This is the large size because I have a big boy.
perfect. Perfect. Sit. There you go. Bon appetit. There. And there's just enough in here for supper and breakfast tomorrow. So yeah, this is shut off. I'll let it cool down. I'll put a lid on it. This should be done. Ooh. It looks still quite moist in there. Maybe because I did the broth. I don't know. Yeah, my face is all friggin' red, but that's alright. I'm shutting this light off. <sighs> Got my water. I'll let that cool down. Oh, my husband has an appointment at two he has to go to two to three and then i'm gonna see if he can just spin in and get manly for four because i need to go back in for six because Mays has hockey and i don't want to make three trips to town i can't i can't all right guys we just got back from our walk my husband's gone he left while we were out gone to his appointment but we're back in time it's like two o'clock no it's probably after two we left around quarter to two and, uh, anyways, yeah, we're just going to sit out here. It's kind of chilly, but I got my hood up to keep the back of my neck warm. Supper's all done. Um, Boris is chilling like a villain. I went and refilled my water thing. There is hockey tonight, and I think May should be able to go. His foot's feeling a smidge better. Like, he's not hobbling anymore, so that's good. And... Yeah, I did some telephone appointment things I had to do. Um, so that's all done, too. But, yeah. I'm just... I'm just gonna sit here. And enjoy the nature. Alright. I hear the bus coming, Boris. I'm ready to go in. I think it's the bus. Yep. Oh, good. We'll see how we made out. <laughs> Oh, Tank is outside, but his, one of his owners, like daughters, is over there, so he might not come over. How was school? I missed ya! Ah! Is your sweater in your backpack? Oh, sugar. Oh. Oh, my boy's hungry. Misha and Mays. Mays has this new jersey on except for the pants, socks, things. But we're going to go in. It's 526. It starts at 6. But uh, we need to figure out what... I thought they were pants. But they're two socks. But they're really big. And I'm not sure what they're supposed to do. So we're going to put those on when we get there. When we see other kids with them on. Did you bring that oh. on? Yes, I did. Alright. Mays is number 6 this year. He was 10 the past couple years, but that number was taken. Less seniority. Kids get to pick their numbers, so. Bad Misha got her sweater, so she has my shawl thing on. I do have a sweater and my force field hat and sunglasses on, though, so I'm safe. Oh. Room. 
three mace. Okay, you go find a seat because it's probably going to be crowded in there. If it's not crowded, you can come, but if it's crowded, you can't come. Oh, it's way the heck down there. Jeez. Turns out we had his old jersey with him because they only want their new jerseys used for games. So we just switched it out. He's a little disappointed. All right, have fun, Maze. Love ya. <sighs> Holy. Pick high enough, Mish. Oh, she brought. We stopped and got a hot chocolate. Multiplication made easy. It's really younger for her, but she just had them there. She's gonna do them up. All right. Okay. All right. There's Maze there. They're just doing these exercises. I think they're doing a little skirmish or whatever. So, Misha got cold. She's gone down in the change room. Let's see if Maze comes out. Nope. Uh, yes, there he is. Right there. Baby. Right there. Oh, maybe he's going back on. One too many. Dang it. Okay. Now they're doing the switch, I think. There he is getting out. Right there. <laughs> he likes to do the face off. He jumps right up to get to the face off again. Oh, he threw it. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, I was busy in there. Oh, oh good. I still have the car keys. Thank goodness. Oh. Guys, <laughs> yeah. Woo, almost dark out. Almost dark. Do you remember where we parked? No, we have the car. No, but there was a car here. Yeah, we're. I don't need my sunglasses now. I'll pop the trunk. Whatever one's trunk pops.
Ooh. I smell smoke like somebody has a wood fire. Oh, is it locked? Oh, all right. Do you want to put your stick in the trunk maze? Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia. No, just a minute. Well, hey friends, it's me from another day. I'm in the upstairs bathroom just because the lighting and stuff. I'm putting an ending on this video. I've had a devil of a time trying to get this video edited um, with my computer and the program and everything bogged down, but here we are. I need to put an ending on it after the hockey practice. Yeah. Um, what else was that video? Oh, the chicken breast and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the kids ate that up. No problem. There was a little bit left over too. Um, so, you know, that was to be gone the next day for sure. But um, yeah, something simple, easy, and uh, yeah, worked out hunky-dory. So anyways, I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.